Hello, and welcome to the very first episode of Teen Tank. Since many of us are stuck at home, we have to get a little bit creative with our form of entertainment. So today we're going to be doing five different experiments using basic household items. So each of our experiments today will fall under one of the five categories of STEAM. If you'd like to follow along, definitely check out this book. Each experiment takes about 10 to 30 minutes, so let's go ahead and get started. So our first experiment is the CD hovercraft. Here's what you'll need. Some old CDs or DVDs that you're no longer going to use, some duct tape, a pop top cap, and some party balloons. Start by sliding the disc across a flat surface. Now ask yourself, how far does it slide before it comes to a complete stop? Now you want to start constructing the hovercraft. Start by securing the pop top to the center of the disc using the duct tape. Make sure you secure it as best as you can as you don't want any air to escape. Next, you want to inflate the balloon. Once it's at a nice size, stretch it over the mouth of the pop top. Make sure it's pushed down and closed or else this won't work. Now pop open the pop top and slide the hovercraft. The pocket of air from the deflating balloon allows the hovercraft to travel without any resistance. If you've ever been to an arcade, this is very similar to air hockey. Our next experiment is the tea bag hot air balloon. Here's what you'll need. A tea bag, a pair of scissors, a ceramic mug, a glass plate, and a lighter or a match. So the first thing you want to do is to take your scissors and cut the tea bag open on the side of the street. Dump the contents of the tea bag into the glass mug or you can throw it away if you don't want it. Now you want to shape the tea bag into a cylinder and stand it up on the glass plate. At this point, you can use either your match or your lighter and light the top of the tea bag on fire. Is it fly? <laughs> if you've ever wondered how a hot air balloon works, this is how. Because hot air is less dense than cold air, the heat causes the tea bag to rise. Next on the list of experiments is the egg drop challenge. For your materials, you will need a pencil and paper, as well as various other household items. For mine, I used the old plastic wrapper that would be around toilet paper, as well as some bubble wrap, a plastic container, and some balloons. Oh, and don't forget the eggs. Before you start any construction, make sure you take a moment to sketch out your design. As you can see, I'm a pretty talented artist. The whole purpose of this experiment is to design a contraption that will prevent your eggs from cracking. I don't have too many materials, so my main plan is to soften the blow of the impact. I want to use the plastic liner, balloons, and bubble wrap to serve as a sort of cushion. So with my design in front of me, I started constructing my container. The build didn't necessarily go according to plan. For one, I have no idea why I blew up that balloon that large. But regardless, I was able to adapt and build something semi-decent. Once complete, I was ready to test. So, I can't really climb up anywhere any higher, so I'm just gonna throw it really high and see if it still survives. So yeah, here we go. <gasps> She's still alive. All right, I'm gonna throw it, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw it even harder. So since I didn't want to climb up the roof, I ended up just throwing the container around until I felt like it broke. Which, after about the third time, I think it finally did. But it's broken. In the end, there's no one right way to design your contraption. You can either take the approach of slowing down its fall, or you can do what I did and insulate it from the inside. For this next experiment, we're going to channel our inner artist and do some magnet painting. You'll be needing a plastic container, 
some paper, a pair of scissors, some washable paint, some small metal objects, and some strong magnets. Trim your paper so that it fits at the bottom of your plastic container. Now dip your small metal objects into different colors of paint and place it on the paper. Using the magnet, move the small metal objects from underneath the container. You can either move it in straight lines or in zigzags, whichever direction you like. Once you're satisfied, you can remove the magnet and voila, you have contemporary art. For our last and final experiment, we are going to be doing some popcorn math. All you'll be needing is some microwavable popcorn and a kitchen scale. Take the weight of the unpopped popcorn. Make sure you're using consistent units. Now you want to cook the popcorn according to the instructions on the bag. Once cooked and cooled, weigh the popcorn again. Now take a look at the weight. Did it change? What happens if you open the bag to let the steam out? Now weigh the popcorn one more time. If you're wondering why the weight changed, remember the law of conservation of mass. This law states that mass is neither destroyed nor created during a chemical reaction. Although none of the popcorn was lost, steam escaped which caused the reduction in weight. All right, if you guys enjoyed those experiments, definitely leave a comment down below. I'll leave the link to the book up right here. If you guys want to follow along on my journey, definitely hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.